Hi guys, if you want to know how to burn green leaves and fresh branches, stick around and I'll show you how it's done. We all know how difficult, if not near impossible, it is to burn green leaves and wet branches. Green leaves takes about one to two weeks to dry out. Freshly cut, pruned or fallen branches takes anywhere from two weeks to even as long as four weeks depending on how thick the branch is before it is dry enough to be burned. And that's assuming that no on and off rain occurs somewhere in the middle. So if your fallen leaves or branches keep accumulating, it is conducive for snakes to hide in. Have no fear, the solution is here. The first thing that you need is a basic rocket stove or wood stove infrastructure. An ordinary wood fire or an open bonfire will not work as it is only 15% efficient. This is because the wind is blowing away all the heat and the burnable materials being emitted by the wood. The wood itself begins to burn at around 600 degrees centigrade. At around 200 degrees centigrade, the wood is beginning to emit other burnable substances such as sugar, ethanol, and methanol. But these flammable elements, including the heat, is blown away by the open wind. The rocket stove or wood stove chamber or chimney contains the heat. The heat is concentrated and allows more effective and efficient burning. The first step is to establish a healthy and stable fire at the base of the wood stove or rocket stove. This is initially established with dry wood and tinder and kindling. Here's the good news. Once your dry wood is up in flames and has reached 600 to 700 degrees centigrade, you can now start mixing wet branches or wet wood and it will burn as effectively. You can use a blower or an electric fan to aid you in increasing the strength of the fire. Once your fire at the base of the rocket stove has been established, you can now start feeding the green leaves and the wet little branches at the top of the chimney. Repeat, feed the green leaves and the tiny branches at the top of the chimney. Make sure it does not come into contact with your healthy burning wood at the base. The healthy burning fire at the base of the rocket stove will heat up and dry up the green leaves and the wet branches above. Eventually, the green leaves will dry up and will also be burnable. In my personal experience, I found that a maximum of one and a half inch diameter of branch or wood is best for burning, whether dry or wet wood. Take care and tend to your healthy fire at the base of your rocket stove. This is the one that will dry the green leaves and the wet branches above on the chimney. As long as your base fire is strong and healthy, it will disintegrate everything in the chimney. The leaves, the tiny branches will all be burned into ashes. When your fire chamber reaches 600 to 700 degrees centigrade heat, you can pretty much throw anything inside and it will burn. As my fire has now reached 600 to 700 degrees centigrade, watch 
as I just keep feeding the chimney with green leaves and more wet branches and it just keeps burning away. It's like a bottomless pit and you can keep dumping in green leaves and wet branches. If you are wondering how much more green leaves I can dump in, keep on watching and be amazed at the bottomless pit of fire. Personally, I was able to sustain my fire for as long as 6 hours. The reason I had to stop was it was getting dark already. If you like this video or you gained some new knowledge, do hit the like and subscribe button. And also comment down below so I can get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, just sit back and enjoy the show. There's just something so satisfying about a good fire.